I was like also giving um, Pasta who's waiting to do his sermon vibes. Oh, you know? okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, when they're introducing mm. that this pastor is from KZN. They've mm. come here for this weekend and this weekend mm. only to mm. show us the way forward, the way of the Lord. They have a different message to tell us. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Pastor Wasabi. Wasalwane. <laughs> Gang gang looking rigorous. My champagne, but I'm rigorous. My campaign looking rigorous. Whole team hella rigorous. Lifestyle so rigorous. Hairstyle so rigorous. The top five ain't rigorous. If you left out this rigorous. Okay, guys, we're shooting a YouTube video. Uh, we're actually shooting a part two. If you guys remember, a couple of uh, months ago, George and I shot a video called uh, Long Term Relationships, or like Keeping Long Term Relationships, something like that. And uh, we basically spoke about our experiences in long-term relationships with our wonderful, amazing, beautiful partners, Session or Wuxi. And uh, a lot of people really liked it. People really, really, really enjoyed that video. And they shared it with all their friends and everybody said, guys, please make a part two. So that's why we're here today, to make a part two. Okay, let's answer some of these questions, George. Um, people are very nice to us, nice enough to leave us a couple of questions. Um, let's actually go through some of the comments first, um, because I like when people say nice things about me. So. Tappy Snaps says, Dumelang, am I late? Actually, yeah. Anyways, I think that was what I was trying to explain to you. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. then I think everyone who was in this chat just got, got it. And they can use this information to either get their wife or win 100 million rand in their lotto. Anyway, thank you so much um, for joining this uh, yeah. stream. It's been and fun. It's been fun. Like, I think this, I've said that my most funniest jokes in the yeah, stream. Definitely. And I'll never repeat them again. And also, please just delete. Uh, this video because you know no, yeah i don't yeah. say they know i don't save the yeah. video so this just is delete it. this video but otherwise uh, uh sorry about that tapsy snaps maybe next time yeah. anyway peace guys. guys thank we'll you see, we'll see you on arcade sure bye guys now don't worry you're not late tapsy <laughs> um mm malisa says seeing men discuss this topic is so refreshing <laughs> and i get it because there's podcasts in the world and do you know what do you know what first of all first things first guys the bar is on the floor for men's conversations at any time we can say anything and you guys would be like wow profound why because our counterparts out there i don't even want to get into it um uh, Smobile says, I've been in a relationship for seven years. That's close to 10 years. Uh, oh, they're talking about you. Sasha and Musha, please do a girl's version. We should call them, George. We oh, yes, them yes. Ask them to do 100%. A girl's version. They would love to. 100%. Do it. I want to do, do a girl's version. I want to do a, a singles version of this. And then I want to do a married version. I already, we already know the one person we're calling. We just need one other person. We need two married people, George. We need, we need more married friends okay so the first big question that we got was what was the most challenging part for you um being in a long-term relationship like what what have you found to be one of the biggest hurdles maybe in like like yourself like maybe there was something you had to change or something you had to work on um as much as we were joking about you know not not knowing why you're in the wrong maybe that's maybe that's simply the thing or like what is what do you think was your biggest hurdle in making sure that you can keep maintaining your relationship hmm that is actually a very interesting question there's so much you can say um there is you can just choose one it actually doesn't have to be the most yeah but what's what's one thing that you think you had to work on yeah. not something you already like were good at mm -hmm. something you might have had to work on to make sure that um your relationship lasted um I think um, a lot of psychologists will tell you. Um, um, I think it's a proven fact, psychology, psychologically, and scientifically. Um, I think I, I read this in one book. So it was a chapter in this uh, psychologist written book about relationships. There was a chap. There was a chapter called Nanging. Yeah, um, yeah. And uh, it's one of the five main points to please a woman is Nanging. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to Nanga them um, yeah and you know me i buy sneakers i buy quarters but in thing i think i buy is kill him yeah and, yeah you know, yeah, I buy yeah. Him. So, but with women i think you have to them. 
you know they love being mangled i don't know what it does it releases they call it endorphins or something like that in their system so yeah you have to basically if you don't know what mangling is please in, in the sense of uh being soft sweet and you know uh, people always tweet on twitter dog mm. Oguti, find a partner that is always sweet to you even in oh, fights even in fights yeah or yeah. even in <laughs> Disagreements. <laughs> <laughs> They're always fighting about that, eh? They're always fighting yeah, about that. That's, that's the fourth tweet I see. Find a partner that is. Find a partner that is. Soft, find, you know? find, find a, a partner, partner that likes you. Mm, mm. Find a partner that is sweet with you. Hey, 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 hey. Guys, I don't know if you guys are being for real mm. or. Um, uh, I, I don't know because. <laughs> Anger and um, upsetness mm. is uh, is a whole different ball game. Where I don't know how, what type of fighter you are, Sibu, but mm. I'm a reclusive fighter mm-hmm. because I don't like fighting. I don't like arguments. I don't like um, disagreements. So, yeah, and I don't know what to say, you know. So sometimes I have to sit down and think, go to the team. And yeah. then only respond and stuff like that. I, I, I'm not feisty or anything like that. I don't. Uh, probably in this whole world, if only four or three people have ever seen me angry. Mm, mm. Probably, yeah, probably only three or four people have ever seen me angry. That's why even when I'm quiet, when people meet me, they're like, "Hey, what's wrong with him? Yeah, yeah. Why, why, yeah. Not, why not? Why not? You? Yeah. You know. <laughs> so it's it, it's that thing where I think. Ringing, uh, communicating. Um, yeah. I'm not saying also in fights now we just call your partner names and sure. swear at them. Sure. I, I don't think one of us here does that. Any of us yeah. here does that. But sometimes um, you can't control the way a person reacts sure. in in in, a, in an upset mood. Yeah, what I'm trying to I say. think I think I'm like the opposite. Uh, you more like B in terms of that, like in terms of, like if you're in a, if you're having an argument or a tiff, like mm. you can't, like I I can spar, you know, mm. and, and some people don't like that. They don't like sparring. I only they, show the pick and pay. That's the thing. But continue. You, so so some people don't like. Some people don't like sparring, like George. If you get into a fight of some kind of disagreement, they want to say, okay, can I go back and think about what I want to say? And then we can talk about it after that, right? I'm the opposite. Me, I can go 1v1 right now. We can go about it for 30 minutes. <clears throat> I won't miss a single beat. As soon as you're done talking, I can talk right after that. Yeah. And I can stop and I can listen and I'm taking in everything and I'm, it's circulating in my head. And as soon as you give me a pause, like i'm you know i'm back mm. inside again yeah. so i'm the complete opposite in that way but yeah i i agree in the nanging thing mm. in that way i then would be more like you say you nanga sasha i'm the one who likes to be nanga mm. um in the relationship Bushe doesn't care a damn whether you nanga her or not mm. i'm the one in my relationship who likes to be nanga like i want that softness i want that like um like i i don't i'm not going to be annoying and be like no nothing's wrong nothing's wrong nothing's wrong but i want to feel that sense of like sincerity if you are asking if something's wrong not just because you don't want to be you don't want to be affected by my bad mood so you're like what's going on with you like i want that sort of hey like i can see that something's off yes what's like what's, what's going on let's talk to mm-hmm. us so i agree with the thing like i think in general you must know your partner there's this big thing on twitter of like you don't you don't beg you can just go to the next one why do you have to know this person if they don't want to talk to you they don't want to if they don't want to communicate they don't want to communicate but sometimes mm-hmm. like Something's hey, happened on a deeper level. Bad yeah. you on Twitter, see you. Hey, bad. Hey, 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 hey. So much, the children on Twitter are injured. Yo, they're, they're injured. In, they're severely injured, though, because yeah. this thing of, uh, oh, you're not talking, I'm moving on to the next one, oh, you're not, yeah. hey, your guys are lying. <laughs> and if you are not lying, that's why you are not in the yeah. relationship. Yeah. That's why you are single, because I think you put it perfectly. I think sparring, dog, is something that uh, I find very difficult, because... Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I, 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 I'm not, 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 I
like sometimes i've actually been learning to not spar like that's yeah. that's what i have to figure out so it's like for b and i's been having to find a middle ground so for me i need someone who's going to tell me what's going on straight away I, I it freaks me out when i'm like we're both heated or whatever and we can't talk yes. like i have to just like sit and wonder what's going on or or like my brain will translate it into um you don't think what we're arguing about is important so you don't want to talk about it now you only want to talk about it tomorrow kind yes, of thing yes, but i've yes. had to learn that it's you know it's just how some people process things like you you want to go process the thing mm. for me my process is fast already it's, it's mm, working it's, it's ready great. to talk about the thing so i've had to find a middle ground of saying okay like um B, you can go think about what you want to say and then tomorrow morning we'll talk more about it but at the same time she's had to like you know not take two or three days like yes. you would have when you started dating like yeah. just 24 hours so that i don't also feel like so it's like meeting each other halfway halfway yeah. yes I, I i honestly get it i honestly get it and yeah like you said it's a it's a process it's not a overnight thing and it's not um hey sometimes it can take years even though honestly. it can take it can take years um mm. okay next question um somebody asked how do we make up after fighting do you want me to go first or are you gonna go first i can go first me yeah okay so i kind of said this in the stream uh, a little while ago that when b and i started dating it was very very difficult for me to like break the ice after we had like tips like we never really argued when we started dating what it makes what are you arguing about when you mm. just started dating but every time we had tips i am the type of person in the relate we're still sticking to this whole thing of fighting but mm. i'm the type of person in the relationship who um i find it very difficult to come back after we've had a uh, like friction mm. um i i don't even know like and it's not that i don't want to it's that i don't know how to yes. essentially break the ice like yes. if me and you are arguing and then even if you clear the argument mm. i don't know how to come back and laugh with you again i feel mm. awkward about it right yeah so i had so then we like i don't even think do, i'm telling you guys now we've never ever actually spoken out loud about it but i think the one way in which we broke the ice after um we'd have like a tiff or whatever is that we'd watch funny youtube videos like we genuinely watch uh we'd watch like cut where like you know those truth or drink videos yes. they do on cut or jubilee because they yes. always make us laugh or they're always like they are conversation provoking so there's always something to say you want to say how how could that person say that thing um so that's a way that b and i at least from my side i noticed it very early that that's how we break the ice whenever we're like arguing or whatever like that like one of us will be like hey do you want to watch a video and yeah the other one will be like yeah sure and then we'll sit and we'll watch the video and then when we laugh then we realize we're talking again i'm i'm like i'm not one of those people who just okay we're cool now let's mm -hmm. carry on like everything was fine 20 seconds ago she on the other hand b doesn't care damn bro if we're arguing and we sort it out we're back straight away hey yo what are we doing today i i can't do that thing what what are you more like i think i i we i like i think what guys should do is if you're having it tough to to reinstate that uh relationship after a fight mm. i think uh to go to a restaurant and then just order for yourself you know a nice meal with nama chips and order for yourself uh, yeah. soon enough, and make sure she's hungry and then she will reach out for her chips uh, uh, one of your chips and i think that's when you say oh Bambi. yeah I can do Bambi. anyway um i'm <laughs> completely joking um yeah i think these days and i see i think the healthier way would honestly for me is um sit down and rethread go back and say is it what started this thing mm -hmm. uh what continued it yeah and then uh you know the thing is I, another thing of mine see, um i hate um repeating myself so i hate mm, uh, okay fights that are about the same thing over sure. and over again yeah sure. so um everyone put all, every, all the um, stresses on the table at that time and say, hey, um, so it called it a and then, uh, but me, I wasn't, I didn't mean it that way. Mm. Uh, did you mean, I thought this is what you meant. Yeah. And then basically we go, I think it's a revision of what happened and stuff like that. Sure. And say, yeah, moving forward, uh, how can we try avoid this? You know, mm. moving forward, how do we try to avoid uh, 
doing for arguing the same thing yeah again yeah because yeah, in the borega if it happens ever again so uh how do we fix this thing but i'm not saying it always works and it's always perfect sometimes it does happen that uh the argument comes back again i was but, gonna say don't you mm, find in in long-term relationships that arguments tend to be recurring yes or they might change but they'll change a little mm. there'll be a little difference but overall it'll be the same overarching problem yeah that's when see honestly that's when you need to definitely see you might even need like an an, an inter i get an, you an like a, man. a mediator yeah yeah, yeah. Middle man yeah. where maybe especially maybe I'm, I'm thinking of marriage vibes now yeah where it is like therapy and yeah. stuff like that that's when you want to make the relationship work i think uh any long-term relationship no matter what is going to go get to the uh level of needing therapy because yeah uh our parents couldn't afford it uh if our, our parents if by Allah, they have to go to the sisters of uh of our sisters or abazan yeah true. so that the sisters can sit there and so feel like why not so why not yeah that's yeah. true yeah but yes are you right i'm not talking about team yeah hey let's just don't let us come on i'm not talking about team so that's the only therapy our, yeah. parents, our parents could have afforded or had access to yeah so yeah. tina i think we're gonna need to change that see with the sense of uh there's marriage counseling i don't know if there's such a term called um uh relationship counseling probably is relationship yeah, yeah. yeah. relationship counseling where uh i'm thinking goti which with every step if in a perfect world if, they, if we were swimming in money yeah. in a perfect world see every step that you take with your partner you are supposed to go see a therapist yeah in a per- i would mm. love i would love mm. that dude that if is you're, perfect world. if you're about to move in together you have to go to a therapist and say okay what are your stresses what are your worries what is your anxieties about this new situation that you guys are going okay sharp if you're going to get married if you're going to have children what are your stresses what are your worries yeah. what are your uh so that it's all on the table before it happens say, hey i feel like when this child when the baby comes um we might not have enough time for each other or we might um basically be less intimate with each other uh because so it was busy or so it's a frustrator and stuff like that so how do we stop that from happening but that's in a perfect world see i don't think uh there's many couples who are down to do that or financially down to do that you know it's 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 wishful thinking as they say yeah. I mean, honestly. but yeah guys uh, thank you so much uh to you george for joining us for this live stream i think everybody really enjoyed it all 180 people uh have, we haven't had 180 people here for a chat before so that's really fun so i appreciate it my dog uh we'll definitely do this again mm-hmm.